down the world, but it has a wonderful wine culture. Um, and uh, you guys are all a part about that, and it's fantastic to come here and see the enthusiasm about wine that we used to see in England years ago, and, um, and now we're certainly seeing it here, and it's great, great to be a part of it. For those of you that love cricket, I love it uh, equally as much, and it, it's an interesting match going on. At the moment, India are three for 176, and uh, I think the only things that, that uh, India will be able to take home out of this match is the fact that Tendulkar at the moment is 56 not out, and if he actually makes 100, it'll be his 100, 100 I think, um, which would be a pretty amazing effort. So. Um, so every now and again, while I'm making out to go to the tour, I'm actually sneaking to the bar to get a cricket score. Um, anyway, I won't. I, my wines speak for themselves. They're a cross section of what we do. Um, I've been making wine for 40 years. My close association with Bob Willis and Ian Botham have, have brought out the BMW wines, or we're not allowed to call them BMW because the Bavarian Motor Works will sue us. But um, as Beefy said to them, we promise not to make cars if you promise not to make wine, so we've sort of kept that up, but it's just great to be here tonight, thank Robert, who's probably not here, gone to another meeting, but thank you very much, everyone involved here, it's amazing to come to the middle of such a big city and, and find a cricket ground, and, um, and I'm sure that you've had many an endless day here, uh, imbibing and watching uh, the great sport of cricket, so thank you very much for coming tonight, I hope you've enjoyed my wines, and Annie and I have certainly enjoyed being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.